My name is Xavier, and welcome back to RimWorld Episode 3 of Season, like, 59. This is the one. We're gonna recover from this, we're gonna grow, and we're gonna make all the fun things happen in due time. And by due time, I mean right now. I have a plan for this colony after editing the last episode. Here we go. I jump right into it. Number one, cancel all these stupid power lines. We're never gonna get them done. They're never gonna get done. We're gonna cancel this, we're gonna cancel that, we're gonna cancel this. Actually, I just now realized my plan sucks, and I, I need to actually put the the power line down here to connect my new wind generator. That's the wind generator I want to make. Uh, so let's come up here and mine out just a couple more of these. It's gonna take forever to get Felipe to do that. Get his show on the road as it were. We'll put him on number one. I really desperately now want to recruit Mr. Shu, the ultimate miner. And so the way we're gonna do that is the structures walls. Let's make, you know what, I didn't mean to do this. I didn't want to make all these big huge rooms like this like right away. But we're gonna do it anyway. You know what, let's put in a door there. Door here, door there. Let's actually cancel that door. Uh, you know, this thing here, let's reinstall it in the middle of that room for no no reason. Just get it out of the way. We'll zone all this stuff in as such. Put a door in there, and we'll have some real things. Oh, no, we're making those lights. I wanted to cancel those lights, cancel this light. Why the hell is there a light out here? What kind of doofus put that there? That's not what I wanted at all. All right, this bed, Mr. Shoe's bed, let's reinstall that right over here. So when this room is done, which it already is, that'll get put in. That's perfect. Are we out of wood? We have 300, 230. We don't have very much, and I feel like I'm going to need more for traps and stuff. So let's queue up a bit of the old orders, uh, chop the wood. Let's make a clear cut around the base, something like this, to prevent fires and stuff like that. Is that a little squirrel there? He's cute. Uh, we'll chop all that. Just just this, this the wood that's nearby. Whoa, an ibex. A random lone ibex. Let's hunt that. Felipe can get on that. Then again, he does have to do this mining. God, look at how slow he is. Unfortunately, we just need him to do that, though. Our power is diminishing somewhat rapidly. I feel like we can disconnect, or no, toggle the power here and toggle the power there. I don't know why they have it on, like, over here it's the second option, and over here it's the first option. That's very strange to me. Major break risk, Lin, why? What is Lin's problem? Okay, so she's hypothermic, she's freezing, awful barracks, a feeling terrible, naked, ugly environment, disturbed sleep. Okay, so freezing I can get rid of, but only by giving her dead man's clothes. And by giving her dead man's clothes, I mean that's not really gonna make it any better. And I'm pretty sure all these dead man's clothes are terrible. Blackjack, Raider, yeah, 17% parka. We have a 6% tribal wear, 13%. This stuff's all been out here for a while. So if I give her that, she'll not only have the dead man's penalty, but also the deteriorating clothes penalty. It's, it's gonna be just as bad, and not really help much. Ooh, a fox! A fox! I wanna kill it! Um, okay, it's very dangerous having Christine run out here when she can't defend herself on this fall. Wow! She chopped that tree down super fast. Um, anyway, let's think about Lynn for a minute. So, we want to kind of keep her inside if possible. Also, we can split up her awful barrack penalty. Oh, wait, this thing over here actually got moved? Can we set that to prisoners then so he gets ex es uh, escorted? God, that's... Why was I stumbling to say that? Yield production. Let's put in a wall there. Can we actually now produce, let me think about this, bed, two more beds? Again, this wasn't my original plan, but um, we'll make it work. I don't think the pillows in the corner matter. I did, I think it was actually on the wiki that I read that. On like the Rimwald wiki, what's this? Wind turbine broke down, that is 100% unacceptable. But I need to fix it and I'm currently sleeping until, when do I sleep to? 18 hours, I think it is. So, another hour, then I'll get up, I'll probably go have a meal. Yep, consuming nutrient paste- why am I consuming nutrient paste meal? When I could be eating a regular meal. That's kind of weird. Now I'm praying? I'm religious in this game? Is that a thing you can- That's apparently a thing. Uh, let's to toggle the power off of these lights. Are they wasting power, even though they're not even, like, connected? I don't think so. Oh look, I'm making that, uh, I'm making an unfinished duster. That's gonna be for Lynn. Mad animal, a local squirrel has gone mad. I cannot tell you how little I care about that, except that Christine's out there and it could actually kill her. Uh, Lynn's probably the best bet to take care of this. She's feeding a simple meal to Mr. Shoe though, that's very important. You know what, I'm the next best bet then. Let's get me out here, what's this? Rat? How much rat is that? 50% of its body parts are missing? I mean, we could collect that rat. I get a little bit of extra meat, why not? I'll, I'll turn it on. I don't know who's gonna actually do that. Christine's now about to be attacked. Come on, I gotta put her in draft mode because she would've run the other direction and it would've sucked. Now she's getting really attacked by a stupid squirrel. She can't defend herself. Here I am, I'm just gonna stand there and hopefully, oh, 
hopefully I don't shoot her in the face. Do a zig, does serpentine, serpentine, Christine, serpentine. There we go, come on me, come on me. Oh, I can release the animals, I forgot all about that. We do have Zeke. Come on, Zeke, you got this, nice. There we go, beat that Squirtle up. Christine just has a few scratches, a few bites, she'll be fine. Stupid Squirtle's dead. Good lord, what a nightmare that was. Let's come up here and murder this, murder this thing. Okay, apparently I'm the worst, so let's come over here and murder that thing. Nice, I got it. Uh, let's do that. We'll turn me on. Can I please come up? Oh, this is already done. I was gonna prioritize myself to do this, uh, generator. But it looks like the generator is done. Now then, how's the blood looking? Everything's good, everything's clean. What needs to be hauled? As far as I can tell, just a few pieces of wood. I could actually use all this meat, now that I think about it. Do I have my stockpile set to haul meat critical? Yes, I do. I just need the vegetables, and we're so very close here. 93% tomorrow, we can finally start making fine meals, and we can make a lot of them. Wait a minute. I just now realized something here. We need to put a stockpile zone right there for when the when the kibble gets dropped on the ground, and we need that to be a priority low. Uh, clear all, just the kibble, and then the kibble should get moved somewhere else, because that's gonna get made as soon as the potatoes are done. And that means this packaged survival meal spot is no longer necessary. Hey, speaking of, it's freezing. Let's turn off the uh, AC. How's the batteries doing? They're draining. Actually, now they're, they're coming up because it's the morning. We're gonna have issues here unless we can get this thing done, and it looks like we need a lot of steel for that to get done. And we actually, believe it or not, almost have enough. Felipe got it all done. Christine's fully healed. Did she ever get bandaged or did, she just, did they just go away? That's kind of weird. Why the heck am I up there? Can I please... God, I can't do that until we have more steel, I guess. How much steel did I waste on all these things that I really didn't want to make or do at all? Then again, how much time did I save by not making campfires all over the universe, right? And running around and doing that garbage. So I have 140 work left on this thing. Lin can finally equip that. Hopefully not be naked and also not be freezing all the time. What? Oh, what's this? New recruit? Whoa! We did it! Mr. Shu! Mr. Shu is recruited! Yes! Good job, Lin! You have a, like, justified your existence in the colony. Ah, I want to almost leave Mr. Shu the same, but let's see. Oh, we have a miner. Oh my god, we have a miner. Okay, finally, finally, finally. So Mr. Shu, boom, boom, boom. You're a doctor too, Mr. Shu? Awesome. Let's put that up pretty high. I'm an okay doctor. Better as Flick, sure. Warden, you're actually, you like the wardening. You're pretty good at it. Well, you have a three. You're not that good at it, but you like it. Uh, and then construction, you also like that. We'll put that on number one. We'll put mining on number one. And then otherwise, you're not going to do very much, but you can haul and clean, which is very important to me. Uh, so, but we don't want you on cooking at all. I love it, and I'm very good at it, so there. Now, this is a huge, 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 huge help. Who do we want to make Mr. Shu? You know what? We have not named the new Northern Wolf. We'll put him in for the first time ever, although it doesn't quite fit. End Wolf, maybe? That way I can actually, like, see what's going on. That looks Wolf. All right, Nwolf is in the in the proverbial house, running around doing stuff. That is what I was waiting for. That is 100% what I was waiting for. Let's shut off this prisoner bed so he has a room now. And let's also turn these beds back on medical. And everyone else, we have enough beds and individual rooms that we should be good. How's the temperature? It's freezing in there. We're going to need a lot more heat uh, for, this, for this setup to work. I did have it working once, although I think I got a especially cold zone. I'm thinking now. Let's put, um, I'm just gonna put a couple campfires in these rooms. It's, I know it's like really overkill, and also, like now that I think about it, these rooms are probably gonna be too hot. They're gonna get hot debuffs if I have them in there. Let's cancel that. And let's instead focus on lots of fire in the big room so the ambient temperature can bleed into other areas uh, through the wall or you know through this the single walls into the the high cover or double cover walls or whatever all right we're in town now we are in town look at that now that we have a miner christine is going to town building that thing although realistically i should not have or have her not building right construction four yeah we have mr Shu has the five and he likes it i have an eight i don't like it but whatever we'll put christine on a four then uh, break wrist, I'm looking at that. Yep, let's take Felipe off mining now. We'll put that on a four just in case. Mr. Shu can also do plant cutting if we have any. Speaking of, 
we have a decent amount of wood. Why don't we start doing, um, let's, let's do a bit of the old orders. Chop wood. Let's chop all this because it's right near this door. And then why don't we actually grow, and I mean, make a grow zone uh, here or so. Someone was telling me poplar trees are the most efficient. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be deforested so much that we're not going to have, we're going to have to go really far to get the trees. There's going to be like some kind of event that kills all the trees. There always is. So why don't we just start right now with a poplar tree farm. Christine can do that. Ooh, speaking of, is this done? Are we done up here? Hold on, what's my power at? My power is getting kind of low. But we do have two wind generators now, and they're both connected. That should help out quite a bit. Neither one of them is blocked. Yes, very good. Northern Wolf, choppy choppy. Actually, why are you... Okay, is tree cutting... I think tree cutting is part of growing now. So am I still... Actually, no, I did it. Now I'm making a beaver skin duster. Because I actually made the other one, and Northern Wolf, did you take it instead of Lynn? Really? Did you seriously just take my my caribou leather duster, caribou leather pants, you caribou leather t-shirt? You must have came with those because they're really bad. Wow, your gear is terrible. But you did just take the 100% quality duster. I made that for Lynn, Northern Wolf. Like, it wasn't for you. So, what, what's the temperature? Let's, let's see what's going on. Outside, it's negative 20. That is absurdity. Absolute absurdity. Um, in this main room, it's 82 degrees. How about these little rooms? Is the temperature bleed working? We're at 55 in here, yes. 58, yes. 65, but that is a heater. How about down here? 30, not at all. 39, 44, so yes, up here, but down here, there's too many, there's two walls exposed to the outside. So what we need to do then is actually build a copy of the heater in that room. So this works, it's just that this particular room has two walls exposed, where these ones have one, and so they're staying a lot warmer. 41, 45, and down here we have 30. That's that's unacceptable. Mr. Shu, come on, friend. Let's put down that put down that caribou leather thing. Oh god, you put it you really put it right there. Lynn, can you come up here and just forswear that before the guy breaks out because the door was left open? Apparently he was over there and didn't notice. Speaking of. Since we have all these rooms, why don't we just deconstruct this to give him some more space? Northern Wolves now recruiting Lynn. I'm using my pirates to recruit pirates. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow, lots of bite scars. Weaking, talking, manipulation. Let's check out Northern Wolf really quick. Freezing? Well, he doesn't have a duster anymore, so there's that. Uh, observed corpse, wearing tattered apparel, ugly environment, slept in the cold. We're working on that. Joy-filled. Aesthetic has awful bedroom. He likes that awful bedroom. I think I wanted one, one of those. Uh, I'm one of those guys too, so I like the the trashy bedrooms. Oh, wow, that happened really fast, huh? Christine harvested that entire. Whoa, did Felipe just insult Christine? Is that what just happened? Insulted Christine, Felipe. Why? Why do you hate her so? You really hate her. Look at this. Four times slighted. Insulted negative fourteen. Teetotaler versus chemical interest, annoying voice. Wow. Who is the teetotaler though? Is it Felipe or is it Christine? It's actually Felipe. Apparently Christine likes the drugs and Felipe doesn't. Interesting. Felipe also has super high animals. Maybe we should work on training the animals now. Um, after hunting, hauling, and cleaning. Yeah, Felipe is getting this all set up. We're wasting grow time here, though. Christine really needs to prioritize sowing this area because we're, we're spending electricity. Hey, speaking of electricity, look at this. We have all our things running. Our batteries are filling up. This is what I'm talking about. <gasps> I just realized something super important. Let's toggle this on, toggle that on so we're not working in the dark. We are about to have the best time ever. Look at this. It's 83 degrees inside. It's just way too hot. Christine, why are you 19% taming? What's your deal with, with animals? Do you even like them? Handle three. Yeah, you do. Okay, that's fine. But really, we need the growing higher. Let's put growing on two. If there's growing to do, we need to get it done. That should. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now she's going to sow the area. So tomorrow we can start doing whatever. But look at this, guys. Look at this. Boom, meal. Boom, meal. Boom, meal. We were down to 18 nutrient meals, 13 package survival meals, and six or seven simple meals. And now we've got 18.9 billion of everything, or we're about to, because I am going to crank these out like none other. We also have meat there, so as soon as I'm done this, I can immediately go into making the um, the fine meals. Although, it's kind of weird because I'm a night owl, so no one's out here. God, listen to that. It's very quiet. That is strange and eerie. But anyway, because I'm a night owl, there's no one else out here. Now it's getting really inefficient. But there's no one here to haul all this stuff and keep these things uh, prioritized. So I'll just do it manually for a minute. 
Because I really enjoy watching people make food, like, super, super, super efficient. Look at that. Food. Food. Now I'm going to drop them over here. They're not going to be in a stockpile there, though, so they're not going to be counted towards the stockpile, which is unfortunate. Whoa, what the heck? F flash storm. Extreme amount of lightning are hitting a small region. This can cause massive fires. Okay. Whoa, Mufalo! Mufalos! Yes! Yes! Do I want to just hunt them all right now? Whoa. Actually, there's also elk, but there's too many elk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine elk. There's only five Mufalos. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is our opportunity. I do... <gasps> there's two up here, though. There's two up here. Female, male. Okay, I can do this. Why don't we hunt that male, age five? I'm sure there's another male in the other one. Where did all these animals come from? I could have sworn there was like nothing left in the map and now we have a million things. Here's some flash fires, that's fine. We'll just ignore them and they'll get dealt with on their own. I need to think for just a minute. I want Mufalos for tanks. Now that we have five people, we're gonna be facing bigger raids. How can I get the Mufalos? Felipe has a 10 in handling and Christine has an 11. They can do it. Once Christine is done growing, she should automatically do handling. So if I set her to taming, uh, however, Felipe is gonna have to do hauling and cleaning. You know, there's nothing really to haul or to clean. I think we can put Christine on haul clean number one as well. Lynn is also doing that, so anything that needs to be hauled or cleaned is going to be hauled or cleaned immediately by someone. And then the growing, of course, needs to take precedence, which it is, and then the animal handling. So I feel pretty confident. Wow, that's actually pretty bad, kind of, maybe. Kind of, maybe, kind of. Let's do uh, this while we have the opportunity. I'm putting in regular motion speed here. Let's chop these woods. And, you know what, maybe we should put plant cutting on one for like the whole freaking town. If there's some plant cutting to do, then get it done. Um, because right now that stuff's all gonna burn burn to the ground anyway. So, anyway, while that's all going on on fast speed, let's find all the males. Male age 8, I don't want that, I want all the females rather. This is a male age 2, that's probably the one that we want. I, uh, male age 3. Are there any females in here? Male age six. Okay, let me slow down because it's hard to select. Male, 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 male. Nope. There are five males over here. I don't want any. Well, male age two. Let's tame the youngest one. The youngest two, rather, just for tanks. And the other ones will hunt, but we won't hunt them right now. We'll hunt them later. And we probably also want to start hunting this one. That's the no, wait. No, that's a male. Did I hunt the female? Let's hunt that one because it's all by itself. Here we go. Here's a male wandering around and a female. Let's tame the female and this male we can hunt. All right. We are on the road to recovery, as they say. I don't know what that means, but I'm a little worried about this. Is it going to spread? Christine's actually doing the growing out here. I forgot about that. I had zoned that to, to growing. Wow. Look how fast she does this, though. Compare that to these doofers, and look how slow they do it. Really slow. She is just an axe-wielding maniac. Maybe I should only have her do the, the chopping then. I didn't realize, is this a new Alpha 17 thing? Like, it's way, way, way faster. Also, raid. So before I do anything, Northern Wolf, what kind of gear or weapon can you have? You have a Shooter McShooterson. Can we come up here and grab a shotgun for you? Great. Where's this raid? They will prepare for a while. Treaty of Brabulo has arrived nearby. A tribe's people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. They all look like doofers. It looks like bow, spear, bow, legua has a pila. Uh, and then we have a bow and a stabby. So this shouldn't be too bad. What I'm actually more concerned with, to be honest, is the fire. I'm going to kind of just let these people do their... Th wow! Look how fast Christine chops these trees. I'm realizing now that there is no sense to what I just did with plant cut all around. Let's just put plant cutting on four for, like, the whole universe. Except for Christine, who can do it, like, number two right after growing, if there is any. But right now, what I want to do is make sure we have, um... Everyone has the best possible gun. What other guns do we have? Lin, do you have the stabby stabby? Yes, Felipe has the pistol. That's good, because he has no eyesight, and that's the most accurate gun, I believe. And do we have any other guns? No, was there something up here at some point? No, I think there was something I wanted, but never actually got. How's the temperature doing? Oh, fine. How's the batteries doing? Fine. Mufalos are here. That's fine. We have meat. That's fine. Let's quickly prioritize hauling these potatoes. I know it's kind of silly to do that in the middle of a raid. We'll haul these simple meals, and then why don't we come haul these meals, and these guys have probably been prepared for long enough that we can take the whole town now, get them on alert, and get in here. The fires did burn out, so I was right to completely ignore them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. 
Uh, so what this means is, what's the most efficient way? I could have myself here. They, they always like to come into the base, so I think Lin should be like right there. Felipe, you can be, oh come on, you can be down here, I can be like here. Uh, Northern Wolf, you're fine where you are, and Christine's really only down here. For the purposes, you know what, that's not gonna work for me, let's have her come up here. Can you hold down shift click for uh, extra commands? No, you can't. Is it control click? No, okay. Well, she'll get in there eventually. She's really only coming there for the release animals anyway. Are they gonna run right by and go to the northern route? No, yes, no. Yes, some of them are. Okay, this is, um, this is interesting. Interesting. We only need to kill half of them, so Coyote has a, a stabby. Legua has a stabby. Christine's still on her way in. That's fine. We'll bring her down there. Looks like she's going through the house. That's what we want. What is this thing? Oh, that's our lynx. I forgot about that. Here they come. Here we go. That's me. Oh, they're hitting some traps. Golga, blue. They're not looking too good. Oh, Golga, what are you going to do, friend? Let's have B target this guy because he's the range shooter. Felipe doesn't have the, the good range. Nice. Blue is already down. Here comes black now. Northern Wolf, I believe, and Felipe can take care of anyone who gets closer. Nice, that's one, that's two. How's the, okay, these these three are going up there, including Worm. They're fine, we don't have to worry about them so much. As long as I, oh, I just took out whoever that was with the thing. Gelga, oh, we just took out Red as well, and they're leaving. Okle dokle. Let's capture Red now. Uh, and let's come over here and capture Blue. No unreachable beds. Let's very quickly, set, I, do, I just want to heal them up and let them go. Oh, it's stupid, stupid thing. Um, I'm gonna shut that off. But first, what was I doing? Think, think, think. Felipe, please capture red. Northern will turn off, capture blue. Turn off all these garbage thingies. Good, me, do that, come on, do that. All right, I gotta quickly shut off the stupid steam. Okay, we're back in. Let's capture everyone, heal them up, get some bandage experience. Lynn, what are you doing out there? Oh no, not this again, right? Because we don't have enough beds, so now you're sleeping. Potato was unharvested? What potato? What? We had one unharvested potato? Really? Um... Okay, so we have five people, but we only have three beds. So why don't we shut off the medical beds just for now? We can probably assign one to Lin, because she's sleeping out in the cold like a doofus. Everyone else looks like they're dead. We can turn that on. God, what an effective, what an effective defense that was. We do need more traps, but we did just get a million wood. Once we get that hauled, we'll be back in business. Christine, you can actually have the other bed over here. Um, set owner to you. I probably could have made like one barracks or something. Uh, I have no intention really of recruiting these people, unless they're amazing. But this guy just lost his left ear. That doesn't look too good for him. And in shock, exceptional pain, Geeter character, who are you all about? You're caring, very neurotic, careful shooter, you kind of suck. That's fine, we don't care about you in the slightest. Vengeful child, we'll just release you. Uh, who is blue now? He was actually, fair, for a tribes person, he wasn't that bad to be uh, recruited, but... We want to save blue. How close am I to red here? What, what, blue and red? That's their names? What are they, freaking red leader, blue leader? Wedge and Tilly's up in the proverbial house, as they say. Am I gonna come over there and do the right thing now? Yes, I'm gonna go 10 to blue. All right, good. This guy has his left eye just got cut out. That sucks. I don't know who cut it out. That doesn't make any sense. How did his eye get cut out? Christine, can you just wake up and go to bed? I gave you a bed, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I mean, we only shot people. We didn't melee anyone. So how did his eye get cut out? Did he cut it out himself or something? Regardless, what's this character all about? His um, recruiting chance is 96, extremely difficult, green thumb, psychically dull, medicine, cooking, animals. Not a bad character, but nothing we need, so we'll also release him when the time comes. This will buy us 30 reputation with that tribe, and I think that is a good idea. Also, why am I doing all this medical, medical stuff? Am I even like a person who likes medicine? Uh, the answer is, I have six skill. I don't like it, but I'm probably the best in town at it. Okay, well, I'm okay with what's going on right now. Looks like I have 24 minutes in to the episode. Oh, here comes the meals. I love it. 44 meals. We're going to cook this right up. Then we're going to cook the fine meals right up. We have tons of stuff for that. Did we ever make the kibble? We did. That's all outside. We'll probably make a little bit more because I think it's getting low. We're going to feed up these people with the simple meals. So we're, we're just nice like that. They come, they attack us. We gouge out their eyes. We give them a meal and we let them go. Sure, there they go. Lynn's throwing one out. He's like, get out. 
get out red. I know it's like you're bleeding, you just lost your ear, you're in a massive amount of severe pain, and also, like, some bad, bad stuff just happened and half of your friends died. Oh, by the way, on your walk out, uh, say hello to your friends for us, would you? That is amazing. I love it. I love- now he actually knows where the traps are. Oh, there it goes. Blue as well. Red and blue on their way out. I like how these things are getting fixed. Everyone is fixing everything. This is fantastic. Look at this. These, here come some random traders. We don't care about that. Visitors. A group of uh, visiting the colony. W what good are visitors? Like, other than being things you can steal from, really, why, why are they in the game? Like, you can't trade with them, as far as I know, or can you? I don't think so. Let me find out. Uh, I've tried before. Nope, no trading. Major break risk, Lin. What's the problem, Lin? Are you still naked? Observe rotting corpse. Yeah, that's an issue because we just had that raid. We had to go fix everything up. It'll go away fast, though. It's only 3.9 hours. Awful batteries. Right. We can, we can get rid of that right now. Let's shut this off. We'll shut this off. I hate all this, like, micromanagement nonsense. But one of these was for Lin, and the other one was for Christine. Great. And then these things we can make back to medical beds. And voila! That'll take care of most of Lin's issues, I believe. The corpses will go away, the barracks will go away, the cold um, should go away when she's inside, which she is. Yep, observe corpse too. That'll go away pretty soon. What is it? 1.3 hours, 1.7 hours. Yeah, Lin's gonna get insanely happy as soon as all these debuffs go away. So she went from like major break risk to to bam look at that super happy everything's great we're fantastic now let's check the heat again now that i put in all these extra things negative 11 outside that's fine battery's looking good inside the main room we're looking at 82 that's very hot here we have a 52 50 84 a 16 i could make some vents but you know in the past i didn't need to i just made a bunch of heaters i'm wondering i'm wondering if i really really need to do that up here it's 73 in here, it's 82, so this, this room is, is doing pretty well. In the butcher table, we're looking at 68, but that does have a vent, but it only has a vent to here, which is heated, actually, with a heater. Over here, we have 63. Interesting. Indoors, 60. Hmm. So I, I don't think these heaters are running at all. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not running in the slightest. So why don't we reinstall them in these rooms? So we can put one there. They're not running because I'm using all of these, uh, reinstall this one in Christine's room because that's the coldest room. Is it the coldest room anymore? Nope, it's actually 83 now. Never mind, let's reinstall that over here. Okay, good. And then this room, 69, that room, 57. See, this room's fine. 57, 58, I mean, these two rooms are fine. Maybe it's because the, 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 the heaters are better at ambient temperature spread? Because look at this one, this one's 47. Why is this room 47 and this room's 57, 56? And neither one of them have heaters. The only difference is this this has two heat sources on either side, and this one does not. That must be what it is. So we just need better heat spread. But whatever. We'll get around to it someday. We actually have a miner now. Speaking of, why don't I come up here and mine, like, all of this stuff? And we can actually get some steel. Oh, wait a minute. No. Uh, there's a fox out there. Uh, what happened to the Mufalos? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. I feel for once like there's some progress happening. But before I get way ahead of myself, bricks. Who's working on bricks? Let's think about that. If the fire is our number one concern, as well as defenses. Didn't I start the episode by saying something about defenses, defenses and fire? Uh, Felipe, you know what? If you have nothing else to do, you can craft. I don't think that'll ever happen. Same thing with Christine. There's always plant cutting and growing to do, but you know... And, re and there's also research, unless I'm doing the research. I have 11 on research, and Felipe has, like, nothing. Let's put Felipe on four, so he'll craft bricks when he runs out of hauling, hunting, cleaning to do, and also handling. There's a lot of animal handling to do with all those Mufalos. Where did they go? Mufalos. Mufalos. Do they all leave? Um. Where'd they go? They all, are they all gone? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. So did all the elk. What? What's happening? Bandit camp opportunity. I'm getting to the point where I might be able to think about stuff like that, but I'm still too scared to even consider it. There's not a single animal on the whole planet. There's like some foxes or something like that, but there's nothing big enough for me to harvest. That sucks. I was all excited about my Mufalo idea, and now they're all gone. Oh well. So I guess we're not going to do any animal handling. 
Northern Wolf, can you defend yourself? Yeah, shotgun should be good against the fox, I think. Wow, look how much faster he is than Felipe at the mining. That, that is good. That is very good. Can we, uh, make toques, do you think? Probably not. We have no cloth. I could grow some cloth. Especially considering what's going on in here with the food. We have enough food, I think. Let's, let's do it. Let's come into zone. Why don't we... Where is it? Delete zone. I think we can do it something like that, right? Five by six. Yep. Let's do a new growing zone. We'll put it in like that. And why don't we actually start growing some cotton? Look at the proverbial show on the road. Wow, batteries are ahead. Stuff is being made. Heat is being, like, everywhere. This room down here is over the top hot now. We really don't need that room so hot. In fact, I should move this heater down here and destroy this thing. And then this will be ambiently warmed enough. Why don't I do that? Let's, um... Whoops. Stupid UI. Let's move the heater down there. Oh, look. Recruit chance. 1.7. That's not bad. Everyone's eating fine meals now. We're getting super happy. This means I'm almost about to lose the game. Almost assured. The research needs to start getting done soon. Look at this, though. Wait, I don't have any meat. Oh, I do have the mufalo. I mean, yeah, this is very inefficient because I don't have the meat stock right there, but whatever. I'll just let it happen because it's only going to be two more runs. We do indeed have some real legitimate food stockpile. And here comes a whole bunch of mufalo. This one I do want to min-max a little bit. So there's the meat. Let's prioritize hauling this meal. Great. And then let's prioritize hauling that meat. Great, and now I can just crank out a fine meal after fine meal after fine meal. Look at that. One fine meal. Two fine meals. This is fantastic. Three fine meals. They're just getting cranked out. High five, Christine, on the way in. Fantastic. I love it. I love this little colony. It is so nice. So very, very nice. It's kind of stupidly laid out with heat and stuff, but we'll... I don't know. Someday we'll fix it, maybe. I really never got prepared for... Um, for the winter, to be honest. But then again, my crops did all die, and that's what I was planning on using to make all the materials. So stones, number one. Let's let's um, pay attention to Felipe for a while. What does he do after he's done hanging out socially? Bit of the old high five. I want to make sure we're getting somebody on stone cutting very soon, and then we're going to start worrying about research. Consuming fine meal. Okay, he's done socializing with himself in the corner. Now he's going to go haul. Right, because I had set everyone to haul high priority. But he, that won't take too long. Should I clear some snow areas, do you think? Like right here? Maybe? Let's expand, uh, expand snow clear area like that to speed things up. I'm not sure if it's worth it to do it out here too, because when am I ever going to really do that? Maybe here? Probably a waste of time, but... Uh, all the wood is now hauled, just about. Just like one or two more things. Felipe, what are you up to? Hauling steel? All right, because because uh, Northern Wolf Eater is going crazy on the choppy choppies. That's fantastic. Look at this. That's amazing. There's stuff everywhere. Things that are being done. Why is Christine consuming a meal not not growing? Didn't we set her to grow super high? Yes. Above everything except hauling and cleaning. Right, and she's almost done with that. So we'll we'll allow that for now. Then she'll finish the grow zones. Oh look, snow clear already. How do these trees start growing inside? Do you guys have any idea? I thought I killed every tree in the whole zone. I thought I literally clear-cut the whole base. Look at that. That is so cool. Cargo pods. What is this? We have what looks like 165 insect meat. What the heck do I do with that? And you know what? That's actually frozen. Uh, let's leave it there. I don't want to go. Oh, elk. Elk, 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 elk. Kill them all, Felipe. Kill them all. I want their hides for making dusters, to be honest. That's why I'm doing that. And I'm pretty confident that, um... Okay, nothing else on the map. I'm pretty confident that even if they go on a revenge, we should be okay. Because I should have my quarantine set up. Do I, though? Pretty sure I did it before. Uh, zone, expand allowed area, quarantine. Yes, it is set up. I can always flip everyone into the quarantine very quick. We can defend the door. They'll break it down and we'll smack them one by one until they're dead with a wall of defense, like, right behind them. Also, it looks like I'm nearly done here with the fine meals. Look at this. Look at this. We're up to 27, 28 fine meals, 60 simple meals, 13 package meals, and 16 nutrient meals. Literally more food than I have made in all of my other campaigns combined, and I have it right now at one time, and I'm even making more. Wow. Looks like I want to go to do- can I- no, don't consume the meat. Okay, this is stupid. Can I please- why consume- okay. 
Let's draft, because the game won't let me do the things that I want. Why? Oh, because this thing's in the way. I see. I see. I had to move the meal. And then when I put the meal down, can I then prioritize hauling the meat? Yeah, God. It's so annoying. It's so annoying sometimes. Alright, that's going to be all the fine meals we can make. Everyone's looking pretty good. Again, though, fires and defenses. How much wood do we have? 2,300. Let's get to work on some more security. They do seem to like to come in in, like, weird staggered things. So why don't we put, uh, just in case they get close, make sure they're, they're not going to enjoy the fact that they got close to us. And also, some of them are going to know about some of these traps. So the more we make, the better. Um... So when they show up, they can hit the new ones, and hopefully they forget about the old ones. So that's that's actually a fair amount of work right there. We'll do that. We'll do something similar over here as well. Something like that. Just like, whoops, that wasn't right at all. Lots of traps. All I can do for right now. Nice. This is actually pretty cool. I like this a lot. I do like doing the whole approach. That is so much wood, though. We're probably going to... Wait, how did I screw that up? I don't know. Who cares? And maybe like a few more down here. Well, then I'm going to see the corpses, but it's fine. I think everyone's moods are actually pretty good. So there, that's a lot of wood and defenses. We made it. We made some progress on that. Next up is to make sure we make progress on fireproofing the base because we're still made out of completely out of wood, which is not ideal. Uh, that's supposed to be Felipe. No one really likes craft. Actually, I like crafting. But I have tailoring to do- whoa, 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 hypothermia, what's this all about? Northern Wolf just fell down on the ground. Who is nearby? Looks like Christine's already on it, rescuing him. Okay, he's outside- I mean, yeah, okay, I know there's- I know there's hypothermia. I know I have no clothes, but you know what? It's not really affecting us. Like, we're not losing any limbs from it. I don't think. Is this- oh, I can't click on him. Like, nothing's really bad happening from it. We just occasionally get knocked out, and... Whoa, Northern Wolf's already back up. Smoke leaf dependence. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot about that. Hypothermia minor. That's, he's fine. He's fine. He didn't lose a finger. Hypothermia is not a big deal in this game, in the slightest. Oh, I just realized, apparently we got a whole bunch more meat. Can I prioritize tidying? Why am I tidying the meat? Oh, come on. Not this garbage again. Let's get the meal out of the way. If only I had someone hauling on the same hours there. Way more efficient. Wow, I'm actually going to make all 60 fine meals probably pretty soon. How did this work out? Well, this is actually probably way too hot in there. It's 83 degrees. Let's take this thing and deconstruct it. Uh, how about this room that Lynn is in? It's 50 degrees because it's between the two heaters. That's fine. This room where Joseph is, that's heated. 55. This is 72. The kitchen's 70 somehow, even though it's not vented. And the freezer is 8, even though we're not freezing it. And in here, we're looking at 70. Great. Great, 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 great. Everything's good. Batteries are fully charged. Hmm. Let me think about the batteries for a second. I want these to be backup batteries. Now that I have components and I have steel, how much steel do we have? 185? And we still, we're, we're getting more as it is. Why don't I start doing um, zone production, expand, build a roof area. Let's build a roof over this. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's, can I, do I have to claim this? Is, what, what exactly does claiming do? They can be repaired and maintained by your colonists. I guess. I guess. Let's let's grab the whole thing. I think it also increases your wealth, though, right? So, how do I select the whole thing? Do I really have to do it one tile at a time? Like, that's super annoying. Okay, it's done. Uh, now, with that being done, let's put in a door. What is it? Structure? Not uh, wood. We want a steel door there. And then let's put in power. I want two batteries here and here. How many components? We still have 22 components. That's looking good. And then let's let's line these batteries up. Like let's say though the thing comes out here. I guess it can go like, well, this is probably gonna go to something else, right? So let's just do that and this. And let's actually cancel this first one. I'll do more batteries here later. Uh, but for now. I think we'll do something like that, and let's bring it down there and put in a power switch. And then this way, space already occupied. Okay, we'll put a power switch in there then. And then this way I can shut off these batteries in the fridge, 
And so if they explode, it won't destroy all of our foods. This was always the plan a long time ago to like have these be backup batteries. I just didn't get around to doing all that stuff. Looks like Northern Wolf's working on it though. And now that I'm thinking about it, why don't I also issue an order? I'm not happy with all these trees being here. Just, just these specific ones. Just chop those out. Elk revenge! It happened, friends! It happened! Oh, nope, it didn't happen. Felipe actually killed almost all of them. This one's actually bleeding out now. Or is it not? Why is it unconscious? Downed. It's it's not gonna die, it's just downed and it's gonna... it's fine. Uh, Felipe, why didn't you... what's... what's hap... why are you relaxing socially instead of finishing off these elk? It's like you're hunting them, you're downing them, they're fighting back. Okay, I guess it's gonna die in a couple hours and then we'll have to go all the way back out there and haul it back. Fine! <gasps> My movalos are back! Yes! Yes, I want tanks, I want tanks! Oh, it's been 40 minutes, no! Why time always ending? Why? All right, who is this? M male? Uh, this is another- this is a female. Okay, let's tame the females while we have the opportunity. Female tame, female tame. Where's the other ones? You guys see them? Here's another one. Uh, male, age six. What's the- what's this one over here? Male, age 11. Let's hunt that one, and let's tame this one. You know what? Let's not hunt this one just in case they go on revenge. We'll hunt it later. I really hopefully, hopefully, I really hopefully, yeah, really, that's, that's what I mean to say. I really hopefully. Hey, this evil fox is here though. We're gonna deal with that stupid thing soon. But um, what, I, what I'm meaning to say here is I really hope to tame these guys before they leave. We should do taming in front of everything except plant cutting and growing. Let's put plant cutting back to three. So we do handling before it. Growing looks like it's all under control for now. Unless these are actually, oh, Lynn is actually doing uh, stuff. Felipe is relaxing socially. We're getting blocks now. 560. We have 36 of the other ones. Why was Lynn doing blocks though? Crafting. Lynn is on a three. Seven crafting. That's why. Lynn's actually pretty good at the blocks. Here and I am choppy chopping. Look at this. 57 fine meals. 54 simple meals. That's over the top if ever there was something over the top. Also, you know what's over the top is my inefficiency here. Unbelievable inefficiency. Can I please just haul all the stupid elk meat? Just like haul it. Can I haul it some more? Yeah, there we go. You know what? I just realized I'm being inefficient right now because I'm, I'm only going to make two more of these and then we're done. We hit the, st the stockpile limit. Believe it or not. <laughs> like that actually, actually happened. And now I think I'm going to go do other stuff. Oh yeah, I'm going to go butcher the animals across the universe. Okay. This is looking really ridiculously good. Everything is, everything is really good right now. And we even have a whole bunch of caribou leather elk elk hide that's what i want because if we more elk hide yep we can make a whole bunch of things out of elk hide once i'm done with the meals and then it's just a matter of fighter proofing and construction who's working construction these days the answer is me and northern wolf but why isn't northern wolf uh doing these wooden traps is my question let's find out if northern wolf was doing the traps and that's why hypothermia was setting in, because he's like a really thin guy with no fat to retain his body heat. Also, Lynn's recruiting here on Joseph. This is pretty good. 3.9%. She's working that right on up. What is happening here? Uh, what does this guy think of everybody? Sh this character loves Northern Wolves for some reason. Rapport built, plus 78, and also really likes Lynn. That's about as high as we can get this character. The only thing now is awful prison cell, worn out apparel, feeling bad, imprisoned, ugly environment, naked in a moderate amount of pain. Well, also in darkness. Um, I could give him a torch or a light or something, but eh, I don't really care. Alright, what was I doing? I was watching Northern Wolf. Is he building, attempting to recruit Joseph? I see. He's wasting a lot of time going back and forth rather than building traps. He's probably building like one, two traps and then coming back and recruiting and then going to build another trap. Yep, he's building another trap. Although this is also keeping him warm, avoiding the hypothermia. He goes out into the freezing cold. Hey, how long till this smoke leaf has gone? 77%? Okay, now he's high-fiving Christine. Now he's hauling wood. He's, he's a little cold. You know, a little bit cold. He's just shivering is all. But he's, he's good enough to haul a ton of wood to traps, it seems. Sure. I mean, we're getting it. They're getting done is the important thing. And I think that's it. So 44, that's, yeah, this is the episode. That's, uh, I feel kind of bored. Like, really? Everything just went well. Why? 
Why is everything going so well? Here, that stupid fox is going to end our wellness, though. Also, do those Mufalos leave already? Are they like, am I just going to be taunted by Mufalos constantly? Yep, they did. Why do I even click on them? Why do I even click on them? I should just kill them the second I see them because they show up for one second and they're gone. Unless they're sleeping someplace and I don't see them. I don't think that's the case, though. If they were, could I select them somehow? Ibex. Ooh, there's Ibex does? Let's hunt those. There's another fox. I hate those stupid foxes. Here's a hare. God damn it. Why, Mufalos? All these insect meats. Why are they frozen? Won't spoil. Oh, they're they're not roofed. Eh, who cares about insect meat? I don't care about it. We probably make kibble out of it or something, but it's too late now. It's all rotting. It's going away. I didn't I forgot about the roofing thing, but. Alright, that does it for this episode. I feel like uh things couldn't have gone better. Really, we're making progress on every front. We recruited characters, we built some clothes, we're clearing snow, we chopped some things, we got a grow zone, we made some food, we really made some food. We got some batteries, like, queued up, we got some steel going, we got some miners. Good lord, we even have, like, people making bricks, so in the next episode I can figure out what to do with the bricks? That's a good question. What should I do with the bricks? Um... I'm actually thinking of maybe what I should do is make a stockpile zone around the outside, like a one tile wide stockpile zone of of steel or uh, chunks, for the purposes of whoa, 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 what just happened? Mental break, food binge. Felipe just killed an ibex doe. Northern wolf is picking out on food. That's fine. That's the best mental break. Anyway, my point is, what if I had slag chunks or whatever, steel chunk, not steel chunks, just chunks, just rock chunks on the outside of these walls? Would that prevent sappers from like, or deter sappers, or probably make no difference really? It might slow down fires a little bit. I'm not sure if it's worth the time to haul it, but I could try it. Uh, and then also, I could line, remove the outside wall of this building and replace it with stone, and I could build the stone walkway around the outside like I wanted to. Or increase speed as well as a fighter break. The the walkway and also the wall combined should be a hundred percent fighter break. In case there's like a fire here that spreads, it won't go through. I don't know. We'll figure it out in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Nice. That's one. That's two. How's the, the okay? These the, these three are going up there, including Worm. They're fine. We don't have to worry about them so much. As long as I oh, I just took out whoever that was with the thing. Gelga. Oh, we just took out Red as well, and they're leaving. Okle dokle. Let's capture red now. Uh, and let's come over here and capture blue.